welcome to Kiss My Crafts, um, and welcome to the first Whip and Chat for Reflect and Sparkle, an event that I'm doing with Yoreli starting February 1st, which is when you'll be seeing this video. I recorded it on January 31st, um, but like I said, you'll see it on February 1st. So um, on Thursday, Yoreli will have her Whip and Chat. So we're doing Reflect and Sparkle. We're both doing Gloria West. Gloria West um, Butterfly Blanket by Mystical Diamond Art. Um, this one is not available, but last I looked, she had about four of the Gloria West available. And um, so if you want to join us and you want to do a Gloria West, by all means, if you have one already that you've been wanting to kit up and go get it, kit it up if you haven't done so already. And if you're not working on a Gloria West, whatever you're working on, just join us and use the hashtag Reflect and Sparkle, I think 2021. You really correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this. Um, but I think it's Reflect and Sparkle 2021. Okay. Um, we will be having prizes. Most likely just comment on our videos and um, that, that'll get you entered. We're keeping it simple. No, no big time rules. Um, originally we did want to do a Gloria West event totally, you know, solely Gloria West, but, um, after months of thinking about this idea, another event happened and we didn't want to do the same thing. Um, but if you are part of that's, um, Jeremy from JTMJ Crafts and Christy from Crafting with Christy, they're doing the, their event. I'm not sure when it ends. Um, but it started January 16th. So if you're if you've joined that and you want to join ours, you're welcome to do so. Okay. You don't have to have a brand new start. So um I love this image. It's it does have the um training circles, training wheels, guide circles, whatever you want to call them. Um, but I guess I'll get through it. I have my magnifying glass. It just makes it, to me, makes the canvas look so much more busier than it is because it is a confetti heavy um, painting. But um, I'm excited to see this done. It's gorgeous. Pull out anything and you know what? Sit down, diamond paint, and reflect on things that are important to you. Maybe you want to reflect on past mistakes. Maybe you want to reflect on your relationship. Things, think of things that you that you can do to strengthen it. Um, maybe you want to move up in your job. Reflect on how you can do that. There's so many things that you can reflect on. Last year was, you know, so many people lost so much, you know, including so many lives lost that this is the time to start thinking about our lives and how we live it and what changes can we make to enhance it, make it better. Um, there's too much hate right now in the world. There's just so much division, um, whether it be politics or religion or the, the um, environment, you know, it's just so much division and it gets, it's getting worse and worse and worse. So if each individual just takes it upon themselves to reflect on what they can do to make their life or their community or the world a better place, um, I think that things would probably be better. Don't you think? So yeah, a lot of things to reflect on, but anyway, so the first one I'm going to put down, wait, I didn't finish. So we're going to have giveaways. We're going to have small giveaways and we're going to have a grand prize at the end. You really, it's going to have one and I'm going to have one. And each week we're taking turns, um, giving away a smaller prize. I don't have anything yet. I have to think about what I'm going to get, but I still have time because she's going to do hers first. Okay, so, um, where was I? Okay, so <laughs> I am going to do a little bit of enhancing on this, and I so far have um, chosen a couple of things that I'm going to swap out. Like, I'm going to swap out one of the symbols. Oops. I'm going to swap out this color 
Wait, let me turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. Turn this off. I am going to swap out this color and add the coral reef sparklers. Okay, so I think that's going to look good. This is not an overly used color, so the sparkle will be spread out nicely. This is one of those confetti colors that have a few here and there, but it's spread out through the entire canvas. So I, I like that. It's not going to... It's not going to be overkill, and it's going to have that nice little sparkle. Then I also have, and I got to see where these go, because I it, I have the 152 in the crystals. So I want to see where these go, because I might swap those out too, depending on where they are. So since I like to do the fun stuff first, <laughs> I'm going to say, normally, normally I have developed a little system that works for me and I will go in number order as they appear so I'll look to see if there's anything for sim you know the symbol f in the section that I'm working if there isn't then I'll move on to the next one and I'll pull out whatever um I need for the symbol I'm going to work on and since these are bagged up I did not kit it up I'm working I am going to add them to my little, I can't show you this really well, my little container that I got off of Amazon. This is like one of those kitchen utensil drawer organizers, but I've used these already for two different kits. So for this, I bought another one and they stand up. Once it gets full, they really stay standing up. Um, and they have these in two sizes. This is the three and something width by nine and something length. Um, and they're called Made Smart. They're very nicely made, heavy duty um, plastic. And they'll last a long time because you're not really going to be beating them up, right? And I know I can get cheaper stuff similar to this in the dollar store, but I like the way these are. The bottom, the bottom, the inside of it has like this non-skid rubber and the, the plastic does not slide on, on this. So they don't really fall. I mean, they fell now, <laughs> but that's because it's empty. But these are the first colors I'm going to be working with. Um, so they're, they're in order and I'll put them in order as I use them inside my little, uh, tray my little holder there um so we're gonna put these down and these go in the butterfly yay <clears throat> yeah this canvas is with those guide circles and all the confetti it looks so busy i really don't need that many but oops i lost one one went on the floor if i see the sparkle i'll pick it up but if i don't see it it's gonna get swept so I'm back to reality. <laughs> Even though I had to work in Florida, um, it, it was a different environment. You know what I mean? It's just the weather was nicer. I, um, you know, it just was a different environment. So coming back home <laughs> and starting work, I'm already tired and ready to for another vacation. Work is very busy because of a backlog that we have. So now we're kind of scrambling to get it fixed and get caught up. And um, so I've been working long hours and I haven't been able to diamond paint too much. And so I'm excited to start this. And get back into it because it was over a month of not time and painting at all at towards the end i started really missing it and i had a couple of kits over there but i like i said i, I don't really have i didn't really have a place to diamond paint you know what i mean i didn't have really have a spot to record a video um especially having a six-year-old needing your attention you know, I just didn't bother. You know what I mean? I was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing this. And, you know, and then her father doesn't want her on YouTube. So 
I just didn't bother because she's going to want to be on camera. <laughs> you know, she's going to want to say hi and she's going to want to be on camera. But um, yeah, I just did, didn't bother. But So I missed it. I missed making the videos. I missed diamond painting really badly. Um, and I'm happy to, I love this color. <laughs> I'm really happy to, to be able to do it again even though i missed them where was it i saw i saw a p here it goes um i miss them terribly i really do and i don't want to talk about it because it's gonna make me emotional and they miss me you know but i gotta do what i gotta do he gotta do what he gotta do and then we'll see what happens, right? Can't predict. You can plan, but you can't say this is what's going to happen. We'll see. And I don't like to talk about anything because um, putting it out in the universe also gives people the opportunity to wish you bad. And I don't trust um, that everybody is going to be sincere and say, yeah, I wish you the best because not everybody is, is sincere. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about just in general. Um, you know, whether it be people from work, people from your family, friends, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so I don't know. Um, when I'm going to announce my exactly when I'm going to announce my thousand subscriber giveaway, but it's going to be this week. So if you are just now hearing about it and you are interested or you haven't seen like the last ladies, I see your emails there. I haven't answered because I have them grouped and then I will answer when I have a moment to go through all of them. Um, but anybody who sent me an email is entered. Okay. So don't worry. I got you. Even though I haven't responded yet, I got you. I saw you there. So a few more people joined. I just felt I didn't have enough. So this is the very last opportunity to join my thousand subscriber giveaway. And to get the information, you have to go see the video and I'll link it down below, make it easy for you. Okay. It's called a little of this and that, or a little bit of this and a little bit of that, something like that, but I'll link it down below. And if I forget to link it, someone shout out at me. Okay. You really watch that video. I give you all the information, what you have to do in order to participate in the giveaway and be eligible for a prize, for the prize. And I also show you everything that I'm giving. So it's a mishmash of different crafts. So you have diamond painting, you have cut, uh, paint by number, you have crochet, you have cross stitch. I don't remember what else is in there and a couple of other, you know, extra goodies. Oh, there's, oh yeah, the pen. <laughs> I don't want to give it up. I really don't want to give up my pen. Your pen, my pen, the giveaway pen. I I just can't get it out of my mind. Um, but we'll see. I I I don't want to go back on my word with that, but maybe I'll end up giving the winner a gift card for Enablers Outpost because that is from Enablers Outpost. Um We'll see. I really don't want to give it up. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I, I I really don't. We'll see. We'll see. But there is a lot of other fabulous stuff. And I think a gift card to Enables Outpost would probably be better. Because what if you don't like hollow or rainbow or stuff like that? What if you don't like the shape of the pen? What if it's not comfortable in your hand? You know what I mean? Then you can pick what you want, right? <laughs> Wouldn't that be better? Let me know what you think. Oops. So my members are automatically entered. And if you want to be entered, you got to follow the instructions that I give you in the video that I will link down below. And I'm not going to talk about it no more. <laughs> okay, mi gente. So the group, Diamond Moments and Crafts, we have reached a thousand subscribers. Thank you to all of you that, that, that make that group so wonderful, drama-free. I mean, a thousand members, um, 
it's possible that it can be drama free. And as you grow and more people get into the group, there's there there may or may not be drama. But so far, the people that post and comment and join in on on conversation in the group, you guys have been wonderful, helpful to each other, supportive to each other, and I'm just so proud of it. Um, and I will be more active. You know, I'm going to try to be more active. I'm just not into social media like I used to be. So I've gotten used to not going on Facebook. You know, days will pass by and I won't be on there, you know. And the only reason you might see that I'm on because that little green light, <laughs> the little green light that shows that you're on is because I'm video chatting with my boyfriend because that's how we communicate through the video um chat on messenger um but yeah it could be days before i even scroll through facebook so i'm gonna be more mindful of that because i am admin in another group it's a crochet group it's a very private small group we don't take people it's just a a group of us that made that became friends in in a much bigger crochet group and um one day all this drama happened and Things went to hell. Oh, you know what? I have to apologize to my members because the last two videos I put out, I did not scroll your names. And I'm truly, truly, truly apologetic apologetic about that because um, I just simply forgot. It's something that I have to get used to doing all the time. And I keep the, um, the image of the names in my video editing software and I'm not sure what happened, but things got deleted and I don't remember deleting it from there. I don't remember deleting it from, I didn't delete the picture from my albums, but a lot of stuff I can't find and for some reason disappeared. And so I don't see it there. I didn't remember. So I hope I remembered for this video, <laughs> but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mi gente, about that. So speaking of, I do have membership now. So if you're interested in that, I have, um, I will be doing more than I have been. You know, I don't feel like I've been doing enough. So I'm planning stuff and I will, you know, have more stuff for you guys. Thank you for those that are um, members and are with me. And if you want to join look down below there's something that says join go there there's a two dollar level called mi gente and a four ninety nine dollar ninety nine and a four ninety four dollar and ninety nine cent level called web <laughs> so it's not a half you don't have to it's not a must but if you're interested in helping out the channel i would greatly appreciate it also remember i am a an affiliate with craftably and if you use my link and my code, then you can get 15% from any order of $50 or more. Okay. Plus, <laughs> I'm still with Diamond Dots. And right now they have a code for 25% off your entire order. No minimum. No. And um, any order over $49, you get free shipping with even if you use the code. So you get a double, a double, um, it's kind of like a double coupon right there. Anyway, so let's move on from that. That's all business. Um, I had so much to tell y'all. <laughs> I really did. I have another unboxing to do. What am I going to do next? Number, I got get 340. It's from Craftably, and that'll be probably the next video. I have a couple of other things. Like, I bought a diamond painting kit that I meant to send here, but it, I forgot to change the address on Amazon, so it went over there. Um, but it was small enough to put in my suitcase, and I got to show you that one. Um, what else do I want to show you? Oh, I got some wax to show you, and I have some... I want to show you the my new Sashka bracelets, but that'll come in other videos. Um, let me tell you something about this video. <laughs> You're going to notice in one part, D 
these are here and I'm putting them down. And then in another part, they're gone again and now they're back. <laughs> That's because you know how I get all over the place when I'm talking? Well, I got all over the place and my topic split up. <laughs> so I spliced the video, what I had recorded up until that point. I spliced it and moved things around. I didn't realize I had already put these down. <laughs> it went, so they're there one moment and gone the next and back again. So just a little explanation. Oh, so me and game. I should have said this in the beginning of the video, but I hope everybody's doing good and keeping safe. Um, this COVID situation doesn't seem to be getting any better. Now there's variants that are in the States coming from other parts of the world. And the vaccine, uh, I don't know if I'm going to take it anytime soon. I mean, I'm not eligible for it yet. You know, I'm not, I don't fit the criteria of the people that are getting it, you know, Besides not being 65 years old, I'm not a celebrity, <laughs> you know. Uh, I also don't work in the medical field, and I, I'm not a frontline or essential worker because I work from home. So, you know, I don't fit the criteria. But if I did, I don't think I would take it yet, you know. And that's a matter of opinion, a matter of preference, I'm not up for debate. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't trust it yet. I think it's too soon. I think it was too soon. Um, look at the one... The last one they tried to put out, talking about, we got another vaccine, but it's 66% effective. Uh, no. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll, I've been safe up until this point. I've been keeping myself safe. I've been following the rules, and I'll continue to be that way. Um, unless I'm made to go back to work, I don't think I will take it. Yeah. And even then, I'll have to think about it. But yeah, we're living in different times and we have to live a different way. And I hope this is not the new norm, but I think it's going to be the new norm for a mighty long time. To think that this is happening. Um, you know, you only see this shit in movies. But anyway, I don't want to talk about it. It's depressing. I don't want to talk about that shit. But yeah, I hope everybody's keeping safe. You know, um, I... I have heard of people that got it, you know, relatives of relatives of in-laws or whatever. But um, recently I found out that people that I know for a very long time, you know, practically see most every day are affected and it's, you know, hitting close to home. So, yeah, I'm going to do my damnedest to stay safe and, you know, mask up, wash my hands. Just, just keep everything, um, keep everybody and everything here clean and safe. So, I um today, well, not today, yesterday, got up and did some cleaning because I had uh. A few weeks of dust got accumulated <laughs> in my bedroom. So that's what I did most of yesterday. Um, I'm planning to make myself a little craft corner. I have this room is big enough for me to do that. And I have to organize, rearrange, and then do what I, do what I want to do. Um the organization is where I have a hard time. I am not good at organization at all. I'm terrible at it. But I have to organize. My diamond paintings are organized. I need containers to put my art supplies in, my coloring books, all that stuff. Right now, um, things are in boxes, and I think they looks ugly. So I want some containers to put those in. Because I have a spot behind the TV that I could put that in out of the way and out of sight, of course. I hate the way it looks now because I have, I have boxes and boxes of stuff. Um, so And so I'm, I'm trying to empty out a corner where I can put a nice, not too big of a table because I, realistically I don't have room in that corner for a big, big table. But something about four foot wide, you know, I can go long. 
<laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> But anyway, and then, you know, I want to decorate the corner and that'll be my crafting corner slash recording area, you know, then I'll invest in a light, you know, a, a proper lighting. I'll be closer to the window. So when the lighting is good, because I don't get good lighting here, I'm in the back of the apartment and what I see outside my window is, um, uh, backyard turned into a small parking lot where the landlord rents out spaces and then after that there's a wall that belongs to the supermarket from around the corner so my light is blocked for a good portion of the day i get sunlight in the morning for a short period of time and then um i mean i get daylight but not it's not really great but I'll be closer to the window in that corner and and no Philip it's not the yarn corner <laughs> that's a little inside joke between us I have, he <laughs> he's always asked about what my room looks like and it's not organized I mean I have things in their place and Basically, it's clean. However, I don't like the way it looks. You know, I had I moved into this apartment and all my things, you know, from my old apartment. I had a two bedroom apartment that I had to shove into basically a room and a half. So aside from furniture, most of my furniture I got rid of. The only thing I brought here were was my bed. And what else did I bring? You know, whatever I had my yarn storage and you know just my most of the furniture that i had in that other apartment either was given away or gotten rid of and it was sad because i really didn't want to do that but i had to move back here for many different reasons you know my parents house um one to help him out to help my dad out for him not to be alone but it was like the main main reason but um yeah i couldn't bring all my furniture here you know i had to give up a lot of things which you know things that are replaceable you know and i'll have them again my boyfriend bought all kinds of appliances <laughs> he wanted some cool stuff i even tried it he bought that ninja blender and had like all these attachments and it's the big blender, the big one. It has a food processor that you can connect to it. So we used it to make coquito. If you don't know what coquito is, it's like a Puerto Rican eggnog, only it's coconut flavored, you know. It has the cinnamon and vanilla, and some people put nutmeg and stuff like that, but we use um, some kind of coconut-based liquid, whether it be coconut cream, coconut milk, coconut um, water. People use different things. I use coconut cream aside from the other milks, which is condensed milk, evaporated milk, cinnamon, vanilla, rum, and um, it's really good. So we made like three big bottles of it with that blender. The blender was nice. And he bought um, a couple of other things that he's saving for, you know, future plans. Why did I get into this? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. But yeah, mi gente, lots of events happening in the diamond painting community. Um, aside from this one. Um, some of you are doing Driller Beast. I'm doing Driller Beast. I'm doing Pal in Time 2021. This is my main event. This is, you know, hosted by myself and Urelli. But um, the Driller Beast is with Abigail from Diamond Painting with Abigail Marine, 007. Elizabeth Insley from Enablers Outpost. And, well, her channel name is Elizabeth Insley. But she has her Facebook group and her Etsy store, which is Enablers Outpost. And um, Brandy from 
Mama the Apes and Diamond Paints. And I'm not sure if there's somebody else involved. Oh, yeah, Yareli's doing it, but she's going to be on the Instagram end. Okay, she's drilling the beast, the actual beast from Diamond Art Club. Most of them are. Um, but you can drill that or you can, and I think I went over all this in my last video, but I'll repeat it. Um, or you can um, drill something that's f over 40 by 50 in size, which is, that's the category I'm, I'm doing. And then, um, or the third option is drill a bunch of small paintings within the month. So I'm joining that and I'm also, and then Palantine is between Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moments and Jenny from The Uncrafty Crafter. And it's a buddy type um, diamond paint along. And I think Mindy put out a video today about it. So you might want to check that out so you can get more information. So I'm joining all that because my butterflies and blankets is going to be for the Palantine since I'm doing it with Yoreli. Uh, I call her my niece. She calls me her tia, which is auntie. Um, she adopted me when we first met. <laughs> I'm adoptable. <laughs> and speaking of Abigail, oh my God, her live last night was absolutely fabulous. What an, an amazing idea. Only when you're one of the guests, that 15 minutes goes by so fast. And once I get into the groove, you know, I don't want to get off. <laughs> so I was like, I ain't leaving. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. It was very nice. And it was cool to meet subscribers. Um, She had uh, two that were subscribers. One, and the, one has a channel now, but... Um, it was nice to meet those young ladies. That was Randy and Shay G. They, Randy has a makeup line um, that I actually meant to check out last night. Um, but it was fun. And then Christopher, I think this was his first time ever doing live. He did really well. Everybody enjoyed seeing his trolls and he was a little nervous about it too, but he did fabulous. And I hope to see him do more lives. Um, and then your rally, your rally was on Mindy's live and she showed her face. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay. Girl, please. You are gorgeous. Um, and she did so well. Um, but I had a blast on um, Abby's live last night. That was a really, really awesome idea. Let's talk about Bev B and her toys. <laughs> you didn't see it. Watch the replay. It was really funny. So Bev B, Diamond Paints, she was formerly known as Momo B, Okay. She's adorable. She's hilarious, too, okay? She got a potty mouth, a little bit of a potty mouth. <laughs> but she has these dolls, these, like, stuffies, and they're called Fugglers, and I'm about to curse. And I gather they're called Fugglers because they're fucking ugly. And the thing that stands out about these things, not just because they're ugly, they're ugly cute, okay? Because they, they grew on me, and I'm very, very interested. <laughs> they have teeth. Like, they look like real teeth. Um, and at first, I was, like, freaked out. I thought it was a voodoo doll. <laughs> but, <laughs> you can find them on Amazon. And, um, yeah, I'm, I want one. <laughs> I also want... Um, I'm sorry the conversation in this whip and chat got nothing to do with this with the... Um, actual event but i i'm all over the place but what i really really want and i fell in love with this toy it's a toy it's it and it could be a collector's item and it's the child um from the mandalorian and it's an, an animatronic toy and he does like 25 different sounds and between sounds and movements is like 25 different things. And it's just the most freaking adorable thing. 
I have seen. I fell in love with it. I was playing with it. Mia got it for her birth um for Christmas. Um her you know, Jose got it for her for Christmas and she played with it somewhat, but I I want one. <laughs> I took that baby and was sitting it on my lap. You could put it to sleep. And he makes the cutest little baby noises. So that got me into watching The Mandalorian. We watched a few episodes, but um uh it, he it, that that's what I love about The Mandalorian is the child. Um I forgot his name, Goku or Groku, something like that. Or Goru. I, I don't remember something like that, but oh my God, it's so cute. So yeah, I want that toy <laughs> and I'll have him right here with, in my whipping chance. Um, anyway, so I hope you join us and you comment on the videos. Um, you can comment on this one. I enjoy your comments, but make sure you comment on your rallies on Thursday because that's when that's the giveaway whip and chat you know what i mean and next monday will be mine okay so join us if you're doing a gloria west awesome if you already started one awesome join us don't matter um any diamond painting will do just uh use that time while you diamond paint to reflect on things in your life Things that matter, like I said before. So, this is going to be really pretty. It's really not bothering me. Now, there's some symbols here that are on this like light caramel color, and the letter the lettering is white. There's some that are hard to see, and I believe that's the letter D. It's really hard to see the ends. Very hard. They should have been dark. They should the lettering should have been dark and I would have had no problem. But without my magnifying glass, this looks really, really busy. But through my magnifying glass, which is this thing that I use, okay, um, it it doesn't bother me. It's not bothering me. It's just those few symbols that I'm touching down on. And I feel a tickle in my throat. Hold on, mi gente. Let me get a little bit. I have hot chocolate in a cup. Mm. This has become my favorite cup. You don't like cursing, don't read what it says. <laughs> the young crafty crafter sent me this. I love it. Mm. This is... um. Let me move... This is the cover minder that Vivi from Diamonds Around You sent me. Let me show you everything. This came in my with the Sleeps with Butterflies gift. This was the gift, a little butterfly cover minder. Um, you've seen this before. This is from someone really sweet. Um, and it comes from an Etsy shop. I think it's called Shiny Shaz. And she makes different decorated um trays and other stuff now she's added more stuff this is the putty that whitney sent me and i love it putty putty i said putty right <laughs> putty um look i use it all the time for the single placer and this it's still full i i'm never gonna finish this will never finish um, and for my multi-placer, I just use the regular pink wax. I find it lasts a lot, a very long time. I always have my two pens. This is my pen stash. <laughs> Does this qualify? Actually, no. I have more pens, but I don't have enough to do the pen stash. It'll be a 30-second video. Where's that other pen? I have some polymer clay pen. I have a polymer clay pen. Um, if you watch my give the, the video where I want to give away, I have a pen from Billy's Crafting Lounge, which I can't access right now. Um, but this came from Crashly. Y'all know Crashly when I did Melody, Melodies of May. Um, and then I have this pen. This was my very first hand-turned pen from Bella's DP Pens on Etsy. 
And I bought several others, but I used them for giveaways and gifts. And that's it. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I have pens like this. Also, a couple of them. And then, of course, like the regular pink pens that you get. But these are it, mi gente. These, these were gifts from subscribers turned friends and family. They're my family now. Um, and I love these pens. And I don't feel the need to add to my collection. I don't know. I have only two hands. And I only use one for diamond painting. But I understand people's love. Because the pens that are, they're making are freaking gorgeous. These came from Jim's Handmade Pens, by the way, on Etsy. Um, wait, let's, let's, let's let you get it. Good really nice look and you've seen these before they're just beautiful this has little let me see if i can get it to focus little um lips kisses vessels and then this is all glitter purple glitter reflecting other colors as well but that's why i want to keep my enablers outpost pen <laughs> so We'll see. We'll see. I don't know, mi gente. I really want to keep it. Anyway, I want to show you something. I was going to do like an unpacking of it, but I don't think I'm going to. What am I getting into now? Let me show you what I'm getting into. So some time ago, I, a while ago, if you watched my videos from a long time ago, you might have remembered. I did real quick in a video show this. Okay. This is engraving art. Which, when I tried to do this, it didn't work. Why? Because I was scratching. I wasn't engraving. I was scratching. And then YouTube is the one of the biggest enablers in my life besides Mindy and Abigail and Whitney. <laughs> You're really sometimes. Um, Christopher because I'm checking out pop art I'm looking for it I have one and I have to show you guys those that came from cool hall um I love the pop art that he does Christopher Colasa if you don't know who I'm talking about check him out um he likes that pop art um diamond paintings and most of the ones he got he get, he does customs of and I found one I found a couple actually um but I do I did order one um Cool Hall asked me to review some diamond paintings, and I did, and I found I came across one of the pop art ones. So I'll show you that in another video. Um, the lady told me to take my time because they're going they're going on holiday. Their New Year is about to begin, and she says that she won't contact me until after February twentieth, and I, I won't need to have the video until then. You know, ready until then. But I'll do it before and just have it ready for her when she comes back, um, so I could show you. I wasn't super happy and I had made a video and it just was packed kind of sloppy. The, the biggest one was all squished, but you'll see. I'll show you. They're probably okay now that I took them out and re-rolled them and whatever, but you'll see. You'll see. Um, I am not a big fan of those little, those websites with thousands and thousands and thousands of, uh, what do you call it? Kits for sale is just too much, overwhelming. And when they ask me if I wanted to review, I'll look at the website. So it depends on the website. I have I have two that I did not answer. You know, I didn't even say no thank you. I should have, but I didn't answer them because I didn't like the way their website looked. It looked cheesy. Um, and I'm waiting for some from another website that kind of, it really impressed me. The website impressed me. I liked it. Um, but I can't think of their name right now. So I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. But what was I saying? What was I going to say? Oh, so there's this, um, see how I go all over the place? I got off topic. There's this YouTube creator, <sighs> Melanie B's Creative Studio. And she does diamond painting and paint by numbers. But recently she added this. <laughs> and of course I bought some. <laughs> I can't get it in. It's this scratch art, right? Um, this one has like eight of them in there and it has like a toolkit. So 
I'll show, look, I'm not showing you anything here, huh? I don't really want to open it. That's why. I'll show it to you. Hold on. There's going to be some noise. Let me pull it out of here. Because, okay. So, if you're familiar with this, it's scratch art. And in this package, there's like eight cards. There's a practice card. There's the tools. There's a whole bunch of tools that came in this little thing here. So, I'm going to try it to see if I like it. Because it actually looks really, really pretty. Hold on. My microphone is getting covered up here. I don't know if you got muffled. It looks really pretty. I was watching her video. <laughs> and um, I want to try it. And it's, the first card is a success. Su success. <laughs> um, then I'll, I'll show you more on camera. I really don't need another craft. And neither do you. <laughs> but it looks fun. It, she's talking about how relaxing it was for her. Um, and I want to try it. Um, I just have to remember to be gentle. Because the black paper the scratch card it scratches easily so you can't really like be rough with it and you gotta go easy because there's a lot of very thin 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 lines um so yeah i don't really need another craft but she made it look so interesting i got right on amazon and bought some yeah i, I need another craft like i need another bill <laughs> Am I done with this? Oh no, there's more. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? I think there was something else. Oh no, I don't want to go that high. I'm very anal. I I gotta do across evenly. <laughs> it's weird. I bet you there's more, but I'm not seeing any. Oh, mi gente, you know, it's it's amazing, these whipping chats. I think about it, what I'm going to talk about. And I have all this stuff in my head. And when it comes down to doing it, even though I have been doing a lot of talking, when it comes down to it, I forget half of what I want to tell you. I don't see any more of this one. I'm going to see it after I put the color away. Watch. Yeah. Okay, what happened here? Oh, now the battery's dying. Anyway, mi gente, this really sucks. <laughs> I'm going to cut it off right here because I've had nothing but trouble doing trying to do this. And I'm going to talk real fast. So you guys take care. Watch your rally's video on Thursday. Um, leave me a comment down below. Um, say hi. And you know what to do until my next video. Take care and besos. Mwah.